Hi guys. On today's build we're going to make a uh, pond or a lake, depending on what scale of miniature you're talking about. Um, I made this specifically so that it would be uh, work for both Warhammer uh, 40k and for Battletech. So if you look at it from the profile it's very flat so it doesn't have a lot of raised edges so not a lot of tallness that way I think it would look okay either way. So here's how I built it. Let me know. Like, subscribe, share, circles, game on. Hi guys. Today I'm going to make a uh, like a pond or a lake depending on the scale. And what I'm going to start with is I have this piece of template already cut out. Uh, originally it was going to be a Land Raider wrecked marker for uh, 5th and 6th edition. You know when the vehicles blew up then you put down a crater that's in roughly the same shape. So I made a bunch of shapes that were supposed to be for those vehicles and eventually I was going to make craters. And then 7th edition rolled through and now when they explode you don't make craters anymore. So I have a bunch of these templates that I ha haven't done anything. So I'm going to turn this one into, like I said, a lake or a pond. And I say a lake or a pond because if we're playing 40k, it'll be about that big, so it'll be about the size of a pond. But if I'm playing Battletech, you know, it makes quite a bit bigger, so that's going to be something that's about the size of a, a small lake. So, uh, step one, which I'm going to do off camera, is I have to, these are all straight edged, so I need to bevel all these edges. So, we'll be back after I'm done with that. Okay, for the next step, um, so I've beveled, I got all the be edges beveled and I sanded the tops a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a rough penciling of the variations what I want. Because what I want on the pond, I don't want to add a lot of material to make this taller. I, I'm not looking for like a line of sight blocking terrain. I'm just looking for more difficult terrain to walk through. So I don't want it to be to be real tall. I want guys to be able to just walk right over it. So this outside rim is going to be um, the dirt, as it will, as it were, dirt, dirt and grass and all that stuff. And then everything inside of this is going to be water, but then, which will work great for 40k. And then, but when you get to Battletech, one of the things Battletech has is you have different different layers of water. You have yeah you know, level one or depth one, depth zero, whatever. Um, so I also want to draw an inside ring approximately of where I want the deeper, deeper water to be. So you'll have about, if my eyeballing is pretty good, about a hex worth of depth one terrain and then depth two terrain. So if we're playing the game and the miniatures in the center, then we consider him to be fully submerged underwater. So, all right, now that we have that done, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, on the outside rim, where it's more gonna be more ground, I'm gonna use some of this thicker, thicker gravel. See that, you can see it's just a little bit taller. And then on the next layer in, I can't find it right in front of me, um, but so then, so the outside edge will be this nice kind of rockier stuff. And then for the first depth of water, I'm gonna use uh, a gravel and coffee grounds mix. And then on the inside edge, the finest edge, I will use a really fine sand so that you'll have actually three layers of textures which will simulate the three depths. That way when it gets painted, everything will look pretty good, so.
Okay, and that's what it looks like after all the uh, texturing is done. Of course, now we have to let that PVA dry, so we'll just let that sit until the, it's dry. And then we'll knock it all off, and then we'll make a quick little mixture to go over top of it to make sure it stays sealed before we start painting it.